close the door. Where's my good boy? There he is. Oh, what a good boy. I think they sense that they're safe here. The mothers especially, they would bring their babies here, bring their little cubs here. The mother bear showed no hostility towards me because I was in the presence of her cubs. I just started to photograph them and study them. Now, mind you, I don't want anybody trying this at home or doing that, but the bears accepted me as part of their clan. Buddy said, Oh, what a good boy. I see them every year, uh, starting in the spring, you know, when they come out of hibernation, and I see a bear maybe just about every day. He just loves to lay on my porch occasionally and um, hang out. And he's never, ever gotten into trouble. In my world, he's keeping me company. Their cubs come, and towards the end of the summer, what happens is the cubs know where to go if you feel safe. A lot of people ask me, how did you get that bear to close your door? Do you know something? I honestly don't know how it really happened. I had my door open and I was in the kitchen. I walked into the living room and I saw a bear and he was sniffing the door and then his mouth went onto the, the knob. And I said, Ho, ho. I'm not saying he knew what I was saying, but he pulled the doorknob and he closed it. And when they do something like that, that's when I praise them. Oh, what a good boy. I'm not afraid at all. I just show respect. An important thing when I deal with any bear, I go at their comfort level. I would never see a bear and say, let me see how close I can get to that, and start walking towards the bear, invading the space. What I do is I talk to them in a very soft nature and a, a soothing voice, and I think they pick up on that. I call them a gentle giant, and they respond to the way you talk to them by their ears, but you could tell he's listening to me. If there's a bear on my front porch and he starts to like walk in the house, I'll say, stop, no. I mean, really abrupt. Down, down, good boy, good boy. They know your, your voice. Whoa. They know the way you're talking. I really think they have a, an extra sense that they knew that they were safe here. They would bring their cups to me and leave them here and take off in the woods foraging for food. A couple mother bears, they bring their, their babies here for me to babysit. Other mothers would just walk on by with their cubs. The mother bear would be right in front of my house nursing her cubs and I'll be sitting on my porch. It's a different very different life than the normal person. I'm 99.9% .9 sure I can be hurt. There's always a 1% with anything or anyone. And to say otherwise, I'd be only a woman myself and nobody else. Well, everybody else would be me anyway, so. My life is like complete with how everything could go into place with the bears. Peacefully coexisting with the black bears.